still here chilling out with Julia Vesquez at the um, Twilight Club in New York. So, Julia, tell me about tell me about the labels. There's the Bacoda label and Tribal, mm -hmm. right? Well, are they both your labels? No, they're not. No, Tribal be defunct and became Twisted. Right. Um, I just had record. I did singles out on that. Right. My label's Pagoda. Right. And that's what my my live albums are coming out on, which I am ready to release volume two in April. I just finished it. Cool. Yeah. Make sure we get a copy. They will. And um, what about, are you, are you signing other artists to it as well? No, I haven't gotten really into that no. type of thing. Well, no, that's the, the label part of it is kind of slow pace right now. I mean, right. It's not really... It's not what you want to focus your energy on? No, my manager and my publicist are dealing with that a little bit more than I am. Right. It's again all the paperwork. Yeah, the paperwork. You know, it's not very exciting. No. So what about musically? I mean, what what would you say have been your biggest influences? Um, DJ what producer wise or anything wise. I mean what I mean, well, growing up listening to Motown, obviously, that's where I get my soul probably. I mean I think the edgier stuff is just just from my um from my basic nature, the type of person I am that you know, that violent side of me, that edgy side of me comes from my personality. But my influence was, was mainly Motown and anything soulful. Mm. So do your sets actually change according to your mood? Yeah. If you're in a bad mood, people are going to get it. You no, know they I mean? say if I'm in a bad mood, I play better. Really? Yeah. Which is odd. I've heard, I mean, I've heard that a lot. Any or, idea why that? I don't know. Ang just angry makes me focused more. And mm. I don't know. Okay. I, I, so is it a good way? It's like, is it therapeutic? Yeah, I guess. I guess. I'm sure by, by I'm sure by now after doing this ten years, I'm a tad demented from doing it. <laughs> Slightly <laughs> deaf. No. Oh. I have my ears checked all the time. Okay. Yeah, just uh, a little bit more crazier than getting. I think. Yeah, but that's good. We like, like that. The older. We like that. It's good. Um, okay, I'd like you to choose some um, two videos, if that's possible, that aren't yours, but that you just love to bits. Is there anything that just? Boy, George, do you really want to hurt me? Cool. Anything else? Hmm. Um, I guess Madonna's True Blue. Okay. Fantastic. Go and check them out. Here they are. And there'll be more of Junior Vasquez in just a minute. <laughs> Okay, in case you've just tuned in, Oh, you've missed a damn good show. You're still watching The Party Zone with um, Junior Vasquez. Near the end of it. Um, Junior, can you tell me, um, what actually was the real story behind um, the whole thing when you were meant to play at the Docklands in London and then you didn't and you played at Cream and Ministry because there were so many different stories floating around. I, that, was, that was bad... bad management of putting the tour together. Right. Point blank. I'm... I love my manager to death, but she should have never put the tour together. Right. You really need someone that knows that business to put it together. And I think that, I think that it was just put together wrong. Oh, it, it played for all the wrong audiences. And no, you went. Like you went. That was happy about that was that. a bad experience in my life. That really. Yeah. So what's what's been the best experience of your life? Playing what's here. Thing? Playing here when it yeah. was factory, and playing here now that it's Twilo. And your proudest achievement, just yeah. again. Yeah, I'm very happy, and proud of it. Yeah. Playing here. Um, what about? Um, are, are you going to come to Europe soon? Uh, um. No. No. <laughs> I, I mean, maybe va maybe vacation. I mean, I'd like to go to Paris again, but I don't think to play. Well, you know, the DMC is going to be the mixing yeah. championships going to oh, yeah. be in Paris this year. Oh yeah. Well, come then. Maybe I could do that. Come then, and you know, maybe. have a little. I had, they, I had a. Yeah, I a just... A little thing after no. Oh, go on. Just it just seemed like they didn't like me over there, and I don't want to go somewhere. But what about, what about, listen, I've got a good idea. We'll do a private sad. party. Just in, basically, we get a hotel room, we'll set up some decks for you. Just a few people, you, however many we can fit into the hotel oh, room. If you could pull, no, if you yeah, pull off something bigger than that. Really? Pull off something huge. Well, and I would do rather it? do that. DMC, you watching? <laughs> Let's get going. Let's get working on that one. If I at least know that, you know, people come, they won't throw tomatoes at me last time. But anyway. Oh, that's I actually, I actually had to kick somebody in the... Did you? 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I once slapped someone on the head with a microphone. It's great. It banged so hard for all the speakers. He was horrible. Um, what about, okay, what about other future plans? Things that we should watch out for. So there's the mix CD coming out. Yeah, Mick, finish that. That's coming right. in April. I'll still be here. I'm, I'll probably do Miami a couple of times. I think, um, I, I would like to probably work on, I'll, I'd like to do more dance, real underground dance stuff now, producing it from scratch album. Because you produce all kinds of stuff. I mean, yeah. I hear that you've been working with Will Cher, Dolly Parton, yeah. Teddy Lang. Teddy Lang. I mean, all kinds of stuff. Yeah. So Dolly Parton, I mean, is this going to be Dolly Goes Dance? I mean... Well, she did, yeah. Oh, she did. I missed that. <laughs> Ooh, oops. She did it. She did it. Bought the T-shirt. Right. Yeah. Okay. And that was when she was off again. Yeah. Big T-shirts. Um, <laughs> Much about the, <laughs> the return of the bitch LP. What was that? I'm still trying to get that together. That was all I had to do with Pagoda and Logic. I'm still trying to get that together. Right. Return of the bitch track, yeah. I kind of lost know. a little bit interest in that. Right. That whole voguing thing kind of I lost interest in. Right, so maybe... I'd like, I'd like to come. do some real songs. I'd like to write some, write and produce some real songs. That's what you should watch that's out for. Yeah, that's what I want to do. The I want to get, coming. I want to get paid. You get paid. How much? How much do you actually? Get, how much do you get paid for a remix? Go on, go on, tell me. I can't say that. Does I mean, that mean you get the have, same? We're into the Grammys now. We, you, I, I want to get a Grammy. You can tell me one thing. I mean, do you get the same? Do you? Would you charge everyone the same fee? No. No. I've it done, depends on I've how much you love the track. I've done things for free. Right. If I really want to do it, it doesn't. It's not the price involved. I quite, I quite liked it when you said like, oh, you know, I'll work on anything. You know, it, it, it's pop. You know, and <laughs> you know, this is my job. I did and, Spice Girls. Two Spice Girls, hey. I hope you asked them a lot of money, <laughs> did you? <laughs> that was too too early in their career, I think. Right. Well, listen, thank you so much for being here. You're very the welcome. Show, and you're um, welcome. good luck for thank the rest you. of the night and day and however long you're going to go on for. Where are you going to party tonight Easy. now? Easy. What do you, do you think I'll get dressed <laughs> up like this for nothing? By the way, one tip. If people want to come to the Twilo Club, mm -hmm. what's the best way to get in? Because I've heard that the door policy is quite strict. Be gay, no. Be gay. No. That's it? That's not true. Just be, game, just be cool. Cool. Okay. Cool. So, um... You would definitely get in. I'm in. I'm in, man. He I'm would, in. He would definitely get in. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, listen. As I said, thank you for being here. Two more Judy of Vasquez videos. Bye-bye. Things that he's been involved in. Coming up right now. Enjoy them, and I'll see you back next week. Bye.